Hey everybody, I thought I would vlog just a little bit today while I am going to town and I'll tack my grocery haul on the end of this. It's been a long time since I've vlogged. Um, I've just been too busy. Had so much stuff going on getting ready for my kids' graduation party and graduation ceremony. Oh, it just seems like my that's all that my mind is consumed with right now. Um, their rehearsal is tomorrow night, and then their graduation is Saturday afternoon. And then next Saturday, the 10th of June, will be their party. And I think it's coming along. I've got to pick up the last minute things today in town. And then next Thursday, I have to go back to town and get like the perishable stuff, like the hot dogs and hamburger buns and um, chip dip and stuff like that. And I've changed my mind about 10 times about what side dishes we were going to have. Um, but I finally settled, finally settled, um, I decided to go with the easy route. I was going to do three different salads, and then I thought, that's just, that's too much. Um, too much for me to have to try to remember and to do the day before, and then to try to keep it all cold if it's hot out. Um, we are going to have the food in the house, and our house is air-conditioned. But, you know, still, if it's something that has like mayonnaise or something in it, or eggs, you want to keep it cold. So, I nixed that idea. I'm going to do a jello salad, um, which is safe at room temperature. I mean, it won't melt. Um, and then I'm just going to cut a couple of watermelons, and I'm going to dice those up. And then a friend of mine is going to do deviled eggs. We've got so many eggs right now, it's just crazy. We're at peak production with our eggs, with our chickens. And last week we had probably 20 dozen eggs in our refrigerator. And we gave a bunch away and I have a few customers that bought some. And so we're gonna definitely use up some eggs for the open house. So I think that's the uh, update on that. Um, I'm going to try to vlog on the day of their open house, but I don't really know how much I'll actually vlog because, you know, I'm going to be busy. Um, as much as I'm going to try to do everything ahead so that I can enjoy the day, I'll be talking with people and making sure the food is full and all of that. And I hope we have a pretty good turnout. I hope most people that were invited can come. I know people's schedules are really busy, especially in the summer, but I hope they can come. Some of the people I've invited, we haven't seen, and I haven't seen them in years, and so it would just be nice to see them. Oh, we've got some cars coming. Well, the first thing I have to do today is I have to go over to the hospital and get some blood drawn. Um, I've been having some issues female issues. I'm not going to give TMI, but you know, female issues. And I went to the doctor yesterday and had a checkup and everything looks normal and fine. And the issue that I'm having is just normal for my age. And it's just part of the, part of the aging process, unfortunately. And, um, it's nothing serious and it can be dealt with. So I was pleased with that. But he wanted to have some blood work done, obviously, check my hormone levels and my thyroid. And I was going to go over right after my appointment to the hospital, that's where the lab is at, and get my blood drawn, but the road was closed, the road that I always take. And even though I've lived in this area my whole life, I don't know all the secondary routes to places. And um, if, I, if I don't know where I'm going, I get very stressed out. So I just came home. I knew I was coming back over over to town today uh, to do my shopping. And so my my uh, sister and, and niece told me the 
secondary route to get over to the hospital. So I'm going to try it. Hopefully I don't get lost. It seems very simple, but I have zero, zero sense of direction. It's terrible. I hate it. So that's what I'm going to do first, and then I'm just going to do my shopping. And uh, like I said, when I get home, I'll do a grocery haul. And if the video is not too long, I might give you guys a little update on what's going on with the animals in the garden. Um, things are growing. It's been fairly cool. Um, it's not been a really cold, warm May. We had a few warm days, but it's been, you know, I don't know if it's seasonal or not. I don't know if the 50s and 60s are normal for May. I think it probably is, but we're just anxious for it to get a little warmer. Um, and we had lots of rain the last couple of weeks. And so um, my tomatoes seem to be growing, not, not quickly, I mean, but they have, they've uh, grown some. But my peppers are not doing so great. I don't know. I don't know if they just grow slower. See, I'm not. I'm not a seasoned gardener. It has not been my calling in life to be a gardener. I just decided to do it this year because I want to do some canning, and uh, so I wanted to grow my own veggies so I could can some salsa and tomato sauce and that kind of stuff. And then one of my pepper plants, my uh, sweet banana pepper got um, broken, the, got completely broken off the stem, and I think it was one of the barn cats was out there messing around in the garden, and oh, that upset me, it made me really upset, I don't know why it made me so upset, but it did, and so I went back the next day and I bought another one, so <laughs> I just, it just bothered me that I had an empty spot in the garden and I was really looking forward to seeing you know raising sweet banana peppers because my husband really likes them well that was exciting <laughs> I made a sharp turn and my phone went flying and over to the other seat and went down by the door so I had to drive the rest of the way to the hospital with the phone the thing just recording because <laughs> I couldn't stop and get the phone Oh, anyway, I am at the hospital, and that way that my sister told me to go was spot on, so I'm here. I'm going to go get my blood drawn, and then we'll see what the rest of this day brings, and hopefully my phone doesn't go flying across the car any again. Well, blood work is done. Wasn't bad at all. Never is. They always have an easy time finding my veins. But I did find out that because the doctor didn't code this as a wellness checkup, like whatever it's more like of a diagnostic blood draw that my insurance isn't going to pay a hundred percent of it and we have a huge copay so that basically means we're going to have a huge bill because <sighs> blood work is not cheap it isn't I would suspect that what I did today was probably six hundred dollars oh well it is what it is they'll get paid when they get paid so I'm off to the store. I'm going to go to Kato's first, which is a clothing store. And then I'm going to go to Walmart. And if I see anything interesting, I'll pick up the phone or the camera and I'll vlog it. But otherwise, if not, I will see you when I get home. It's everything I picked up at Walmart. Let's get going on it got a thing of this LaCroix lime sparkling water. I really enjoy this with a little bit of coconut syrup in it and a lime packet. It's really tasty. A uh, thing of coffee for my husband. Uh, two cans of organic corn. Two cans of beefy mushroom soup. I like to use these in casseroles. Two things of Miracle Whip with olive oil. We eat a lot of salads in the summer and we're going to have deviled eggs for the kids' open house so we definitely need Miracle Whip. A thing of my uh, honey mustard light salad dressing that I love. Two things of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. These are for the uh, pulled pork that we're going to be making for the open house. And then I got this stuff for the hot dogs. I got some sweet relish 
some, whoops, just hit the floor, uh, French's mustard, yellow mustard, and some organic ketchup. Um, back here, I got one more cake mix just in case we need it for the cake I'm making for their party. I got two boxes of organic mac and cheese just because the kids have been complaining that there's nothing for lunches around here. So I picked those up. Um, I got a box of Cheerios. I had a coupon and this very berries sounded really good. So I got this to try. I had gotten strawberry Cheerios last time and those were really, really good. So I'm thinking this will be good too. I got a box of instant dry milk. I make my own hot chocolate mix and um, Travis likes to put it in his coffee so that he has kind of like a mocha and I need to make some more of that. So I got dry milk powder. I got a, a five pound bag of organic all-purpose flour. Um, I think about, um, but I'm tongue-tied, sorry. <laughs> a bag of cuties. They had mangoes for 88 cents again, so I got three more mangoes. I got a large bunch of organic bananas. I got a bag of organic romaine hearts and organic uh, mixed spring mix. Uh, I got two packages of organic blueberries for my overnight oatmeal. Um, let me come back around here for the rest of the food items. I got a thing of organic sour cream for the family. I got one of the vanilla silk almond creamer because I still have um, I still have some in the refrigerator, so I only got one this time. I got eight of my silk vanilla um, yogurts for my overnight oat milk. Oh, my brain is not working. I'm so tired. Overnight oatmeal. Sorry. <laughs> I got one thing of cashew milk, one quart carton of organic 2% milk for my son. I got two half gallons of half and half for Travis and Scott's coffee. I got two gallons of water. Now, this is because I'm going to be making lemonade for the kids' open house. And I'm going to use this gallon of water and mix up a gallon of lemon juice lemon juice. I'm telling ya, <laughs> this is a crazy grocery haul. I'm too tired. I need to slow down. Lemonade. And then I'm going to stick it in the freezer and put this in the five gallon beverage cooler that we have. After it's frozen, I'll cut the carton off. And that way it'll stay cold, but it won't um, dilute the lemonade. And then the other gallon I'm going to use to make lemonade and then keep fill, refilling this with tap water um, so that I have exactly a gallon to make the lemonade with. If that made sense, I hope it did. <laughs> I got one package of ground turkey. This is three pounds and I divided it into thirds. And then I got some of these uh, Morning Star Farms um, roasted garlic and quinoa veggie burgers. Um, Stomach issues and digestive problems run in my family. I have it on both sides of my family. My mother had problems, and then my paternal grandfather had lots of problems. And so I'm not the only one in my family who has issues. My niece, Caitlin, has a lot of stomach issues, IBS and things. And hers is to the point where, at, the, at least at the moment, she is vegan because she can't digest any meat. So I picked these up for her so that she'll have something to eat at the kids' open house. So, and if she's not able to make it, then I guess I'll eat them. I, I, I've never had a veggie, veggie burger, so that'll be a new experience for me. And I think that's all the food items I got. Um, now I'll move on to the non-food items. I got a thing of this utterly smooth hand cream. Um, my husband at his work they use a lot of solvents and stuff and it dries his hands out really bad and this stuff works the best he said and he needed some more of that. I got some more gum for me, Trident White, I really like this gum. got some Colgate Sensitive for my husband. I got some of these uh, leaf 
lawn and leaf bags. They're really extra large. I only had a, needed a small bo box of them. These are for the open house. We're going to have trash cans outside. And so hopefully this will hold all of the plates and things after the party. I needed some more light bulbs for my scent burners. So I got two packages of those, my wax melt burners. I got a thing of this Suave Daily Clean for my husband, shampoo. And then I picked up some of this for my son, the Deep Clean. Then I got some of these Clorox bleach tabs to go in our toilet to keep those nice and clean. And then I picked up some hand soap. I'm going to put this in the kids' bathroom for right before the open house. I went with kind of matching the color of their bathroom more than the than the scent. And then I got some of this grapefruit mandarin to go in the kitchen right before the open house. That way there's plenty of hand soap for people if they need to use it. And then I picked this up. I thought it looked interesting. It was only five dollars and it's a facial cleansing brush and it's not motorized or anything. You just put face cleaner on it and use it to clean your face. And then I got myself a new spoon rest for the stove. It's ceramic. I've got one that's plastic and it's starting to look a little bit dingy. So I wanted to get a new spoon rest. And then I got myself another thing of kitchen towels. Um, these are Pioneer Woman and they were on clearance. And it's got one that's like a tea towel um, fabric and then the other's more of a softer fabric. And I just really liked both of these. And you know, like I said, they were on clearance. Then I got a cake spatula for the kids' graduation cake. I didn't have a good spatula, so at least not the right size. I had one that was a lot bigger, but this would be the right size for cake. Then I picked up some shirts for my husband. He was saying the other day that he didn't have enough um, nicer shirts, um, so I got him two t-shirts. This is like a blue color and this is a brownish tan color and then I got him this um, polo type shirt for oh, he can wear it to work and he can wear it to church my husband likes more neutral tones so pick those up for him and then this is some laundry detergent that um, I heard Heather from the needy homesteader was talking about that she really 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 liked and I thought I would give it a try, and it was pretty cheap. It was like less than $4 for this four-pound bag, and it's phosphate-free, and she said it's been very good for her sensitive skin, and I tend to have sensitive skin too, so I thought I would give it a try. And then the last thing I got at Walmart was some more dog food for Lucy. All right, so that's everything I picked up at Walmart. I'll get this stuff put away, and I'll show you what I got at Aldi's next. Okay, so this is everything I got at Aldi. It was a pretty big haul this time. We were out of a lot of things, and part of the problem is that we went to Costco early in May, and we won't get a chance to go back to Costco until towards the end of June. So we were running a lot of out of a lot of our Costco staples, like water so I had to pick up a 24 pack at Aldi this time and um, we were out of completely out of snacks my kids thought they were gonna die um, so I had to stock up on some snack things so I picked up these these are actually for me I absolutely love these these are so good so I've got two bags of sweet chili gluten-free tortilla chips a bag of non-GMO corn tortilla chips, just for like chips and salsa. Three jugs of tomato juice for my hubs. Two jugs of organic apple juice for whoever wants to drink it. Two packs of paper towels. One pack of paper plates. I got two things of organic ketchup. Um, we were running low on ketchup, and we do eat a lot of ketchup in our house, especially in the summer. And Olivia specifically likes this um, organic ketchup from Aldi, so I got two bottles of that. 
I got six cans of mandarin oranges, four, or I mean eight, I can't count today. <laughs> four cans are for my overnight oatmeal and four cans are for salad that I'm making for the kids' open house. I got two more cans of the chili with no beans. This is also for the kids' open house because they're going to have chili dogs. I got some tomatoes because we're going to have BLTs one day um, for dinner. I got some more red onion. I got three jugs of organic beef broth. This is for the dogs uh, for their food. I got a bag of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. This is also for the homemade hot chocolate mix that I need to make. I got two bags of chopped pecans. These are for my overnight oatmeal and also for the jello salad that I'm making for the open house. I got four more of these dark chocolate mocha almond uh, bars. They are so delicious. In fact, I never even stuck any in my purse the last time. I just stuck them down by my computer. And when I was feeling hungry, I would eat, eat them. They did last me quite a long time, though. I got two boxes of this organic mac and cheese, also for the kids' lunches. I got some of these peanut butter filled pretzels just for snacking and I got some of these I was thinking specifically for my husband I know he'll like these Parmesan garlic and herb pita chips um, and then I'll move on to the cold things um, they had these at Aldi's and this is also for my niece for the kids' open house she can either choose between the ones I got at Walmart or these black bean chipotle burger I got one bag of frozen blueberries, organic, two bags of organic frozen strawberries, two bags of pizza snacks for the kids' lunches, two bags of crispy chicken strips for our dinner tonight. We haven't had these in a really long time. I'm going to make mine into a salad. I'm going to have a salad, those um, mixed greens I got at Walmart, and chicken. Two bags of shredded Parmesan cheese, two bags of the shredded mild cheddar. These are, this is for the open house for the hot dogs so people can have um, chili cheese dogs if they wanted. And I've got it already shredded because I am trying to make this as simple as possible. Keep it, keep it simple. Got two packs of these turkey jalapeno smoked sausages. I absolutely love these. Keep them on hand if the family is having hot dogs. Then I'll make one of these for myself. I got another package of hot dogs just as a backup for the open house. And whatever we don't eat at the open house will stick back in the freezer and we will have all summer hot dogs and pulled pork. <laughs> uh, two bags of frozen peas. Two packages of the nitrite free bacon for BLTs. I got some of these um, chicken melt sandwiches for my kids' lunches. Costco has one that's very similar to this and they loved it. So um, I thought I'd let them try these from Aldi. One box of turkey burgers because I can't eat beef. So I have to keep this in the freezer for when I have hamburgers. I'll fix turkey burgers for me. Some frozen french fries. A pound of ham for sandwiches three packages of everything bagels. Travis loves to eat these with his eggs in the morning for breakfast. And then I got three of these rising crust pizzas. I got one supreme and two of the meat lovers. Uh, one of the meat lovers is for the kids' lunches and then the other two we're just going to keep in the freezer um, on standby in case we need a quick dinner and so they'll just be there. Uh, like if we decide not to stay for the meal at church, we can come home and just cook, cook a couple pizzas and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, this is everything I got at Aldi. I'll get this put away and then I'll show you what I got at Kroger. This is what I picked up at Kroger. I got two of my vanilla soy milk uh, creamers for my coffee. I just don't have time to make my homemade creamer. I don't know when I'll have time to do that again. But anyway, so I just want to head back to this to the old faithful. 
I got one of the True Whip for my daughter. I got some dairy-free sour cream for me. I picked up um, some Tarani syrup. Um, it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world, but I don't drink it every day, and it's a, kind of a treat. I used the coconut with my uh, lime, the True Lime packets in that lime sparkling water and it just tastes so good. I really, really like it. So I got coconut and then I picked up some more raspberry and this time I got some passion fruit. Um, I think the last time I told you when Scott and I went out the last time we went to Panera Bread and I got raspberry passion fruit green tea and it was so good and so I've been trying to recreate it and um, I thought I could get away with just the raspberry, and it's good with just the raspberry, but I want to try it with the passion fruit too, and see if it I can get it to taste like what I had at Panera Bread. Then I picked up four of these dark chocolate uh, peanut butter cups. I had two coupons, buy one, get one free, so I went ahead and just got four of them. I got a package of organic potatoes. And then they had their flowers on clearance. I paid $3.49 for this beautiful bouquet of daisies. And I really love these bright colors. They're my favorite. Okay, so this is everything I got at Kroger. And then I'll show you what I picked up at Kato. I went into Kato mainly to get a new bra, and they have the best prices on bras. And I did end up getting a bra, and I'm not going to show you because you don't need to see it. <laughs> it's just a bra. But while I was in there, I ch always check out their clearance section, and I got three tops um, out of their clearance section. So I just wanted to show you. I got this one. It's like a t-shirt, and it's uh, pink my favorite shade of pink and it's got a really funny saying help me accept what the salon can't change <laughs> so I thought that was cute so I picked that shirt up and it was on clearance for $6.99 and then I picked up this blouse I'm trying to, to um, match a pair of capri leggings that I have and so far I've not had a whole lot, lot of luck but I bought this top because I think it might match them I don't have them up upstairs they're downstairs in the laundry um, right now so I I can't show you whether they match or not but I really wanted a really long shirts um, to try to match that one pair of leggings and um, I think this one will match um, I hope it does but if not I can just wear it anyway uh, it's got the drawstring up the side so you can kind of bunch it up and it's got cute little cuffs at the sleeve and it's like made out of a really soft like t-shirt material and this was on sale for $7.99 so I really like that and then I got this top also to try to match that uh, that pair of capris that I have and it's just like a chambray check material and it's it's one of those high lows it's long in the back and shorter in the front it's sleeveless it's kind of got a rustic looking sleeve and it buttons up the front and it's got pretty pockets and I could wear it with a pink tank top underneath and I think it would look really really pretty and this one was on clearance for $15.99 so that's what I picked up at Cato. Now I thought I'd give, do a little um, tour, quick tour of my plants and animals before I say goodbye on this vlog slash grocery haul. These are the plants that I planted a few weeks ago right after Mother's Day and they're doing really well. They're not grown up enough yet for me, for me to want to start harvesting but uh, that's parsley and that's lemon thyme and this is lemon verbena and these are some flowers and you can see they're just starting to get little buds on them and my petunias are doing 
really nicely in my hanging baskets. I come out almost every day and deadhead them and keep them wa well watered because I want them to I want them to look nice. Yeah, I haven't deadheaded yet today. You can see that one's ready to come off. And then this is my regular thyme and my rosemary. We got some chairs on the deck in case we want to sit out here. And then here's my chives. Um, they didn't bloom a second time. I cut all the blooms off and dehydrated them and I thought it might bloom again, but it didn't. But that's okay. So I'm not going to walk down that ramp because I don't want to slip and fall, so I will be right back. I'm going to go around the other way through the house. So here's my forsythia bush, and it's growing. I had pruned it back pretty severely this spring, and uh, it didn't seem to damage it at all. And I will prune it every spring after the blossoms are done. done. That's what I found out you're supposed to do. And there's Mr. Ned the Gnome. He's doing just fine. Um, here's my buff butterfly bushes. And my uh, bellflower. All the bl blossoms are done. I don't know if it's going to blossom again. Oh yeah, it will. There's more blossoms on here. I wonder if I'm supposed to deadhead this. I think I will. I'll bring some scissors out and deadhead that. My uh, a honey honeysuckle is blooming. I love the way honeysuckle smells. And I'm having a problem with my hummingbird feeders. My hummingbirds not, aren't coming to it very well um, because it's got ants in it. My husband put an ant bait thing down there to try to prevent them, but as you can see, there's one still crawling on there. So if anybody has any ideas how to keep ants out of your hummingbird feeders, let me know. Because I would sure like to get rid of those dumb ants. Think about it. Hi, hi, Pepper. Hi, girly girl. You my girly girl. She wants to be with me wherever I go. Well, you can't come out here. You have to stay in the fence. Don't get your head stuck. You're going to get your head stuck. Miss Virginia is in her outdoor cage, outdoor pen. Um, I bring her out here every morning. We moved it. It was over here. And she would get afternoon sun, like um, around noon from like noon till three o'clock and she would be in the heat of the day in the sun there so I moved her over here and she gets morning sun and then the rest of the day is shaded It's because it's underneath the tree but I bring her out here in the morning and then right before bed I take her back into the shed so that she's protected from predators and she's with her friend Oliver but she's doing so good and she loves to be held and she doesn't fight me at all she's my she's my good girl Virginia Jin 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 I love those little sounds she makes she's so sweet and then out here I got the pinwheels that I had bought last year put out and they look really pretty when they're all spinning. This will probably be the last year I can use them though because they're pretty pretty faded. They probably won't last another year. And then the morning glory, not morning glories, um, marigolds that, oh yes girls keep talking, Olivia planted are doing very well. They've really liked all the rain we've been having. My goodness, she's making a lot of noise. And this is that sunshade, just like the one we have on the, our deck. It's out here for the ducks, and they really enjoy it. My goodness, you're noisy today. One of my black hens is broody. And so every, 
every two or three days I have to go into the blue house and kick her out. I don't know if she'll ever stop being broody. Miss Bianca is doing very well in this pen by herself. In fact, she started laying eggs again, which I thought she was past that. But she doesn't lay every day, but a couple times a week I'll get eggs from her, so hey, she's earning her keep. I'll keep her. <laughs> I just changed all their water in their pot pools yesterday evening, not even 24 hours ago. And look how cruddy they are. I don't fill them every single day because it's just takes too much water. So I, I changed their drinking water. Of course, see, they drink this stuff too, but every two or three days I change their pool. So I've, because they've got three pools. Three pools. I love watching my ducks. And she's coming out of the nest box down the ramp. And these girls are doing just fine. Got them a bigger pool yesterday. Put this bigger one in for them. I think I am going to wrap it up. I just gave you a small tour of what's going on outside. I decided not to take you over to the vegetable garden because it's clear across the yard and I'm tired and I don't want to walk over there. Uh, plus I think this video is long enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed the way I kind of combined a vlog with a grocery haul and I'll try to do this more often. It seems like the only chance I really get to actually talk to you guys is when I'm driving down the road. So. Um, Thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye.